Hey YouTube, it's Tammy C. Walker coming to you with another video podcast. I see my videos about relationships seem to get the most views and it makes me want to create more content around that. I hope I'm not giving you false hope, but I do want to speak on breakups and possible reconciliation with your ex. We have to remember we're living in a society where if you break up with someone, especially your friends or people that have had negative breakups, which most breakups are not pleasant, they are going to want to help you to feel better. So some of the first things they're going to say to you is, you better off without that person, you better off without her, or you better off without him, don't worry, you're going to get somebody else, there's a better match for you. I want to tell you that I have four friends that broke up with their person and they all got back together. Three got married and um, one just got back together. And one one of them, you know, the the person passed away, their, their husband. But I just want to show you instances where reconciliations do happen. Um... I don't want to, like, per se, tell all my friends' business because, I'm, you know, maybe one of them might be listening. But it's not nothing like that. But I just want to show you that, you know, these couples have broken up. They were apart for two years. They were apart for six months. And they came back together and got married. So I'm not trying to give you false hope. So there are a lot of scenarios that could be tied to this. If you know you were in a relationship and it was not healthy, God forbid violence involved or um, emotional abuse, that's not the relationship you want anyway. And if you were the one doing that, you definitely want to seek out anger management therapy. Okay, so that's one scenario that you you don't want that back or they probably don't want you back if you were the one doing the abuse. Another scenario, if you were cheating on that person or they were cheating on you, I don't know. You know, that, those are things where you shouldn't want those people back because that's not healthy or you were not healthy for them. So let's get those off the table. I'm talking about a more healthy relationship. Maybe your partner had a death in the family. Maybe your partner lost their job. Maybe you got busy with work. Maybe COVID happened. There are a lot of reasons for breakups. They're not all negative. They're not all bad. They're not all impossible for you to have a reconciliation. As I'm going to say in all my videos about breakups, breakups, you have to work on yourself. Focus on you. Fill up your day. Do whatever it takes to get your mind off that person you don't have to not think about them but you don't want to obsess and ruminate just have those repeat thoughts that's what drives us crazy but i just want to do a short podcast to let you know there is hope if you did break up with your ex don't feel like you're never going to see him again you can never get back together i just gave you four instances of friends that broke up with people and ended up married so it happens we break up but we can get back together and maybe sometimes some of us won't either way you will be okay eventually tammy c walker life coach therapist social worker hit that like button hit that subscribe button i hope that makes someone feel better not trying to give out false hope but just telling you facts bye-bye Yeah, 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 yeah.